You're about to watch a Trains Newswire video. If you enjoy what you see, consider looking at some of our other full-length videos. Chicago, America's railroad capital, 20th Century Limited, and a new collection of top quality documentaries from producer Rich Luckin. All of these and more are available on our website, KalmbachHobbyStore.com. Good morning, Trains Nation. Today is Friday, May 12, 2017. Welcome to another episode of Trains Newswire Roundup. I'm Steve Sweeney. I'm Brian Schmidt. We're so glad you could join us. We're going to have a little bit of a condensed version today. We've got a few things to talk about, but dozens and dozens of stories up on Newswire. Um, Trains Magazine slash Newswire, go look at it. Um, coolest thing right now, well, not the coolest thing, but an interesting <laughs> thing. Interesting safe. thing. Yeah. yeah. No. Um, grain and coal are up right now. Yeah. Um, you know, we've got a traffic story, there's some fluctuation in the market, but hey, you know, coal, which has been down for years, have been plummeting for years, 2016 was its worst year in a long time, uh, coal is now coming back. So that's that's pretty interesting to look at. Also, um, we got a story uh, from Bill Stevens uh, uh, from Genesine, Wyoming. Genesine, Wyoming had an earnings call, they had an investor call, sure. uh, and they were talking about what they've been up to lately, and they, they came out and said they had bid on Florida East Coast Railway. But they were obviously not successful. They ended up, ended up going to somebody Nowhere else. near the top bid from, from what I got out of the yes. story. So it's interesting, though, that they're, they're going to keep pursuing their, their acquisitions policy as they were. Obviously, this one didn't come mm -hmm. through, but they've got you know, plans for some other things. So I'm curious to see. And they didn't think that, that Hunter Harrison taking over at CSX would make any opportunities immediately available. Right. I suppose, though, long term, there could be something there. Right. Well, so. you know, we're all assuming that between CSX and NS and restructuring and streamlining operations, there will be spinoffs of branch lines or secondary mm -hmm. main lines all over the place, especially in coal country. But if coal is coming back and you can streamline in other areas, maybe it doesn't make sense or maybe it does make sense to spin off. Yeah. It's interesting to watch. Yeah. I'd certainly be interested in seeing what what happens next and what our readers think about this. If they want to put it in the comments and tell us what you think G&W should go after next. Yeah, that's right. You actually posted yeah. on the Facebook too. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, so yeah, post the, post the comments to the to the comment section below here. Uh, you know, We'll follow up on them if, if you have some inside tips. Tips, by the way, you can go to newswire at trainsmag.com. That's an email address, newswire at trainsmag.com. It'll be uh, happy to take a look at it. That's also a place where you can send low-res photos and links to uh, videos of trains. Uh, that you might have taken that maybe we can share with our audience at some point. So, um, you, what, what else has tripped your trigger for Newswire uh, this One week? other story that jumped out at me was Canada and the, I guess the province of Quebec. Quebec. It wants to invest in the line, rail line to Gaspé that mm -hmm. presently has only a little bit of windmill equipment traffic, but there's a new cement plant going online. Right. And it means that Via Rail could come back in the future um, and that's on Newswire. You can go see what Via Rail has to say about coming back onto the Gaspé Peninsula. Mm -hmm. They're going to spend, Quebec wants to spend like $100 million on it. Yeah, it's a coastal line. I'd imagine there's a lot yeah. of work to do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah interesting. Yeah. So that's on Newswire. Now, the only, the only other big thing, huge thing this week uh, are, the, is, are the circus trains. And so we're following the red train. We've got a Newswire story up right now. They're not now. as huge, though, as they used to be. Well, as they're selling off cars as they're going along. Right. Well, that's yeah. part of the story. That's yeah. part of the story. So the red train is headed back, or the red unit, of the circus train is headed back down to Florida, and along the way they're going to be setting off cars for owners who have bought them, and that's sure. going to be you know transported by class ones or short lines wherever it goes or to museums if if they bought them, and then what's ever left when it hits Florida is looks like it's going to be subject to scrapping. Sure. You know, so I mean, lots of rumors, lots of stories going out there, but that's that's the latest right now. There's a newswire story on that. Plus, we're going to uh, hopefully be posting a gallery of photos from some of our contributors in the field. Good. Later today. Wonderful. Um, on the blue train and the red train as they moved along. Blue train is now uh, on its way just in Uniondale, New York, on Long Island, and uh, looks like they'll be setting up soon. I think this week, today, and tomorrow, uh, for shows uh, starting Mother's Day on Sunday. So. Watch for Trains Newswire. We're also going to have a special, uh, special feature, uh, eight, ten pages of circus train photos and short stories from the last days of the circus train in our August issue on newsstands in late June. So be sure to look out for that. So, Brian, all I can say is now, for everyone at Trains Magazine, to all the mothers out there, happy Mother's Day, and we'll see you around.